All right, so I want to talk about the uh, assignment, the IPO calculator assignment. You've already done an IPO calculator with the CS10 grade calculator, but for some extra practice and to make sure you're, you're confident with this, I'd like you to choose one of the formulas from this document here. So if you click on this link, it'll give you a lot of different formulas, uh, distance between points, which is really just Pythagoras' theorem, right? Find the horizontal distance, the vertical distance, and then do Pythagoras' theorem to find the actual distance here. Right, there's the slope of a line, uh, Heron's formula, which is a cool formula to find the area of a triangle given the side lengths. Um, there's area of a trapezoid, midpoint, volume and or surface area of a cylinder. These are pretty simple. You can maybe do both of those, right? Ask for the radius and the height and then calculate both. Compound interest, um, Fahrenheit and Celsius conversions, a tip calculator, ask them for the bill and what percentage you want to tip and figure out all these things, a wage calculator, what are your regular and overtime hours, how, what's your rate of pay, and then you get time and a half for your overtime hours. Pythagoras' theorem, you could do that too. So anyway, there's a whole bunch of different formulas in here. I'd like you to pick one of those, right? Create an IPO program for one of the formulas in the document link below, okay? So your program should begin on a button click, right? The user will type in the values that the formula needs. When the button's clicked, you'll get the values you need for your chosen formula from the input elements. You'll use those inputted values to perform your calculation, right? Whichever formula you're doing, do the calculation properly. And then you'll output the result into an HTML element on the page. Okay, so just like the grade, CS10 grade calculator, right? You got the values, you did the calculated the average grade and outputted the result. Make sure you write good looking code. You should have comments, right? For your title, for the input process output sections. Uh, make sure you've got good spacing between logical sections, good indentation, meaningful variable names, um, all that good stuff, okay? Once you're done this assignment, upload the solution code to GitHub. You don't have to publish this page like we did in the first unit, right? How we use GitHub pages. Just upload your files to GitHub into a public repository so I can see it. And then turn in your unit 2 on Google Classroom after adding a link to your solution code on GitHub. Right after adding the link to your solution code on GitHub. Okay, awesome. Um, so yeah, like I said, pick a formula, make the program, turn it in, and I will mark it. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Always have fun.